Hello there, I'm James, and this is the story of the complete crew. Progress, the development towards a more advanced condition, gains, growth, headway, improvements, all things that have been made in my absence, but much more must be achieved if the complete crew is to be successful in its efforts to defeat the Overseer. My tribe mates have tamed a second Tech Quetzal, and as I've always said, the key to beating Ark is in breeding. Today's adventure begins as it always does, with the acquisition of raw materials. Tribe mate Chunk is gathering wood on the mammoth, and I give him a helping hand. Since the mammoth had its TLC update, removing the most unique and characteristic features that were adored throughout the art community. Old, unloved, and replaced with a newer model. Like a flower that's withered only to be tossed in the bin after it dies. So too did our beloved mammoth. But Wildcard takes and gives, and this new butless mammoth has the ability to harvest wood or berries, making the tried and tested Quetzal and Mammoth team up redundant. When Chunk and I discovered that this old method was no longer as effective, we returned to base. I got him stuck on top of the behemoth gate. I can't get him off. I literally, I can't get him off. <laughs> Having failed in my efforts to help my tribe mate gather more wood, I left him on top of the behemoth gate to bang his drum, and we turned our attention to metal gathering. Next, we grab our new Argentavis, Chonking Cat, the illegitimate child of both Chonk and Vex. Of course, when they said I could borrow their Argentavises, I don't think they meant that way. We also grab Union James, the new acquired Tech Quetzal, and head on up to the volcano. We gather metal, and more, and more, and more, and more, and more. Fully loaded with the fruits of our labor, we make our return back to base under a swift sunset. Union James is slower than an asthmatic hippo, so it's late into the evening before we arrive. Not being the fastest method in order to gather as much metal as we're going to need, I decide to set out the next morning on the raft to gather more essential resources for the team. We head out the next morning with Harvester the Yankee and to gather some more essential resources. Flowers. This will annoy the beavers and Chonking Cat will eat the beavers. Cementing paste and pearls are also useful items we're going to need. We return to our favorite place where once stood our base, the walls telling a story of our triumph and glory and now bear no longer our home. This space belongs to the herbivores now, but here we shall find some important resources to strengthen our cause. Having once again making a successful trip to stoke the forge with raw metal, I was feeling like a change of atmosphere. Tribe members Vexing Cat and Achilles suggested making a quick journey to the artifact of the Hunter Cave, and for the sake of this commentary, we'll blame them. The loot was quite often inadequate, and the RNG gods were against us, but our sharp eyes and persistence paid off when we spotted a level 140 Megalania. We were unsuccessful in our efforts to tame the creature, even though we told it we would change the name of the tribe from the complete crew to the People's Kibble. A reference to a dispute about needing more extraordinary kibble. When Vex was told she couldn't take all of the kibble that we had, she replied, but it's the People's Kibble. But even with the promise of unlimited kibble, the creature decided to drown itself. Perhaps the sheer amount of trank darts that hit it while it was sleeping peacefully out of the way convinced it that it had grown gills and could breathe underwater or the fact that the tribe would forever be known as the people's kibble if it joined our cause. We witnessed a very stubborn lizard drown itself. We collected the artifacts we could while we was there, and perhaps feeling like we shouldn't return to base entirely empty-handed, we decided to journey to the artifact of the massive cave. This cave may offer some more challenge to veteran survivors like myself and Vexing Cat, and perhaps the loot gods would smile upon us and grant the tribe that all-important recipe needed to defeat the Overseer. Two teachers in the art of survival working in perfect harmony, demonstrating skill and knowledge without fear and the ability to move quickly and easily is a sight to behold. We discover loot, but it's not what we need. We both continue putting forth the effort to succeed in our task, and our endeavours yield another artefact, Vexing Cat demonstrating the confidence and sheer tenacity needed to get the job done effectively. 
While we wait for a second artifact to respawn, disaster hits. Perhaps a temporary mental lapse or brief period for one who grows older hits vexing cat and she's unable to remember the combination of run and jump. Go back. You can make it. Oh no! Myself and Mr. Whippy, the Baryonyx I borrowed off Romeo earlier on, can only watch in horror as this senior moment proves to be fatal to tribe mate vexing cat. I act quickly though, and time almost slows down as the adrenaline kicks in and we attempt to save Penny. Vex is Baryonyx. Yes! Just in time. I saved Penny. Successful in saving Penny, and ready to exit the cave, the artifact respawns to tempt me into one last jump. And being that my cognitive ability to run and jump at the same time is unaffected at my age, I proceed to show how it's done. I think it's back, so. oh, oh no, 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 I've done it too. <laughs> and I've dropped everything, including the thing. Oh no. Failure had hit the complete crew square in the forehead. Our misjudged landings had cost the tribe a day's work, but as true winners do, we get back up. We still had the will to go on for the win. A different strategy was clearly needed, and after many hours spent by the whole crew searching for the ultimate Phylocolio, the tribe's first prototype and fully imprinted Phylos were ready for testing. So myself and tribe mate Vex travelled to Carnivore Island to power level our creatures. Once we were satisfied that our creatures were powerful enough to enter the cave of the Devourer, we set forth. Still recovering from the shock and realisation that senility and old age were creeping up on both of us. That our once perfectly timed coordination may soon be a thing of the past. Just like the old mammoths that had once roamed the island had been cast out for younger models, so too will be our fates should once again we return with less than we went out with. The newly imprinted and highly leveled Phylocolios make easy work of this cave, and despite contracting mega rabies a couple of times, we navigate the cave with ease. Come here and give me a hug. <laughs> Our endeavours in the cave prove to be successful, and fate dangles another carrot. It would seem to be a case of deja vu. A glitch in the matrix perhaps, but can this Megalania be convinced to join our cause? This creature doesn't seem to suffer with the same affliction of believing it's a fish, so we begin the training process. The creature's ability to stick to walls makes it a viable cave mount, and indeed something to be considered as an alternative to the normal. The creature also secretes a biotoxin that will be farmed for tribute items that we will need to enter the tech cave and ascend from the island map. This torpidity drops fast, so if you're attempting to tame this creature, bring plenty of narcotic. We return to the base victorious and the tribe is pleased with our new acquisition. The creature is affectionately given the name Spaghetti because it sticks to the wall and Shiny Bee places the creature above Romeo's bed. When he logs back in to discover tribe mate Vexing Cat lost his Baryonyx Mr. Whippy in the massive cave, perhaps the sight of Spaghetti stuck to his ceiling will soften the blow. A huge thank you to the wonderful people scrolling up the screen right now and of course to those of you that have made it this far into the video. Will the island crew be successful in its mission to ascend from the island map and complete Ark Survival? And will I do another video featuring their antics? Possibly is the answer to both of those questions. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya. Poof. I mean... <laughs> PK's Poof Fighter. <laughs>